Uh, what's up, Wayne Brown here with uh, DarkEffects.net and uh, got us a new CPU in today. So we're going to put this inside of my Dell Dimension 9200. I'm trying to look at the camera and not at the monitor. So anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. Um, like a lot of people out there, I'm very limited on my budget. So um, that's right here. It's an eBay purchase and uh, for $55. And this is the um, this is the Intel Intel Core 2 Quad Q6700, 2.66 gigahertz and a four core processor. And so, uh, but anyway, uh, the processor that I have in it right now is a D, an Intel D, and I think it's only got uh, two processors in it. But anyway, it's it's really slow and it doesn't compete with my laptop, which my laptop has a i5 in it, and so the i5 processor in my laptop outbeats my Dell. And uh, the Dell Dimension, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but the Dell Dimension 9200 is actually a 64-bit system. As long as you buy 64-bit processors for it and the memory, it will go up to 8 gigs of memory. And uh, so but anyway, it was uh, actually founded at Trestum, believe it or not. And so whenever I found it, uh, the graphics card, the onboard graphics card was shot. And so uh, I had to get a new graphics card for it. And it came with, I think it was either 256 or 512 memory was all that was in it. And so I replaced the graphics card with, uh, or put in a new graphics card in it which I'll have the name of that right here. I can't remember what it is. It's not your high-end graphics card because I couldn't afford a high-end, but it's a lower-end graphics card, but it, it it packs a punch and it can do what I need it to do as long as I've got a high enough processor, which that's where this is going to come in. So uh, let's go ahead and install the processor inside of our Dell Dimension 9200. And uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, pay $55 for it, free shipping. Not a bad deal. Okay, the first thing that we want to do is that we want to remove the cover. So we grab a hold of the top here. And bring the cover up. Get everything unattached here. Come down here and unscrew We're going to get some little light in here Okay, with our screw out here and our screw right here out, this part just slides on up like so. And it is very dirty, so we need to clean that out before we put it back in. So we're going to set this aside. And this right here is our CPU. So we're going to zoom in on this just a little bit here. All right, that's our CPU. So we're going to take out our CPU and put in our new one. So let's go ahead and open up our new CPU here. Hard to read everything on there, but that's our new CPU. So let's go ahead and set that right there. And then, I mean, it's really dusty down here. I mean, really dusty. I had to clean that. <coughs> okay, so go ahead and pop off the sides right here and then bring this up and then we just lift out the old CPU just like that now each CPU has its own way of going in as you can see right here let's zoom back out but right up here in the corner is one of the dots or pins are missing so whenever you put it back in, you got to make sure 
that it goes in the same way. So as you can see here, one of the pins is missing here. So and if you look down here, you can see up here on the top right that one of the pins is missing. So that's the way it wants to set in. So this side has to go up to that side. So we set it in like so. Drop it back down. Take this. Bring it back down. And then that's all we need to do there. So let's go get this clean and I'll be right back. Okay. Now that we have cleaned this looks pretty good so uh, let's go ahead and put it back in here let's bring this up so you can get out of our way it's always a lot of stuff in your way whenever you go to put these back in you got to make sure that you got these two hooks here that's got to go back into place and then slide that down like so and then it falls and also, whenever you're doing this, doing anything with your hardware, you always want to make sure that you're not powered. You always unplug. As my dad learned a long time ago, whenever he tried to do something to his one of his laptops and it was left powered on and, well, needless to say, he dropped the screw and it burned it up. So, let's go ahead and put the original uh, Intel D inside of our static bag here, set it aside. So everything's done here. That's got that going. So the next thing that we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna uh, connect everything back up. Let's go ahead and get that back there. And uh, that does not go there. So let's put that up underneath there, like so everything away so we're going to go ahead and put our cover back on here and then uh, next time we're going to do is fire the striker up so we will see you doing that here in a minute okay we're going to cut on the system we're going to Go into setup. Alrighty. So uh, we've got our information here. We've got it says a Dell DXP061 or the Dell Dimension 9200. The processor is an Intel R Core 2 Quad CPU Q6700, 266 gigahertz and uh processor clock speed 2.66 bus speed 1066 and then all the other information multi multiple core capable yes quad but it's going to be right there at the bottom here 64-bit technology yes intel em64t so that is where you can tell if you got a 64-bit system so if you go inside of your dell dimension 9200 bios by pressing the F2 key whenever it boots up, we go inside of uh, system, and then go down to processor info, and then look at the very bottom, 64-bit technology, and then you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and get this thing booted up and see what it shows. Okay, and the system just installed the new device drivers, and uh, which it shows right here, Intel Core uh, Quad CPU 6700, Q6700. So what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, restart later. Well, actually, let's go ahead and restart it now.
and let's take a look and see what everything looks like in here. Okay, and we're seeing our processor right here. It's retrieving system rating right now. So we're going to click here to refresh it. And we're going to refresh it now. This was our original, which was 4.6 for our old processor, so this should change. Alright, there we go. So as you can tell, everything changed. Our calculations per second, our uh, subscore. We jumped up from uh, the 4.6 to a 7.2, and uh, so I mean everything dramatically, dramatically changed. And so yeah, we're good to go. All right, so uh, yeah, this was my installation of the new CPU inside of my Dell Dimension 9200. So uh, now I've got two systems that should run equally side by side together. Y'all have a good one. Wayne Barron here with DarkFacts.net. Y'all have an awesome time now. Bye-bye.